Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to See Mini Mom. Today I'm not in my kitchen. I'm actually in my bedroom because I was thinking about what I am going to pack on vacation. And I thought that I would share with you guys some of my tips for how I save big on my wardrobe and on clothing. I am not a fashion guru by any stretch of the imagination. I totally get that. So maybe my advice is unwelcome or unwarranted, or it certainly is not expert advice. I am a person who has always struggled a little bit with like clothing and outfits and putting together things that look nice. And years ago, I decided that I would go to a capsule wardrobe. What that means is I have fewer pieces to choose from, but they're things that mix and match with each other. So it was much easier for me to put outfits together. Not only did this create less clutter in my closet, but it allowed me to A, spend more money on nicer, long-lasting, well-fitting pieces, and B, save money on clothing in the long haul because I tend to buy less of it. I mean, I'm sure to some people it would still look like I have a lot of clothes, but I feel like compared to um, the standard, the average, and also being in other people's closets and seeing how much clothing they have, I feel like I am definitely like under the average as far as pieces of clothing. I just have one rack in the closet that has almost everything that I'm wearing for a season. Several of those things are things that can go from season to season, like short sleeve shirts that I wear in the summer that I can then layer with jackets and sweaters and stuff in the fall. That works for me because I'm not as overstimulated by all of the choices and I can put together outfits that I feel good in and that make me feel good about where I'm actually putting my money and my time. Now that doesn't mean that I don't like a good deal, okay? I do try to be mindful of how much clothing I'm purchasing, but I do shop clearances and I do go to the thrift store and I find things occasionally that work really well in my wardrobe. But of course, I think it's also okay, especially if you're a professional, to spend money on really good quality clothes if it fits within your budget. But today I thought I would show you how I am putting together a capsule wardrobe for my vacation because it's sort of like a miniature version of how I would do it for a season. So the first thing I did was I went to my own closet. I shopped my own closet and that is a budget saving tip right there. I know that we all went to get something new to kind of spruce up our wardrobe, but I have had to fight the urge over the years to just completely throw it all out and start all over again again, I really try to repurpose old pieces if I can. So I got into my kind of spring and summer bins, which are put up right now because it's winter. And I did find a cute little floral shirt that I used to wear all the time in the summer that I saved for next season. I found a vest that I actually got at the thrift store last season. It's a jean vest that I thought might come in handy for kind of changing up my outfits. And I also knew that I wanted either a jacket or a sweater for this trip. It's gonna be like a warm beachy destination, but I knew that you know sometimes I still get chilly or when we're going to restaurants or just for layering to kind of change up an outfit that I would want something to go over the top of things. And I've had this white floral cardigan for a long time, so I kind of thought, I don't know if this is still in style. Should I you know, get rid of it? Is it okay to take? But it's just a plain white cardigan that has this like textured floral pattern on the front. And I thought, you know, I really feel like just your standard cardigan doesn't really go out of style. So I was gonna go ahead and try to play around with that. These are all items that I picked up at my thrift store for 99 cents, you guys. I thought this red dress from Old Navy, it's super light, you know, just a very light fabric. I thought it was so, so cute. And it looks like it is brand new. I mean, it didn't have any pilling, any stains. It even seemed like it was still pressed, you know, like it looks like whenever it comes in the store for the first time. But I immediately thought this would look really cute with that denim vest that I had in the closet. I mean, I think it looks cute on its own, but I could also layer that vest over the top of it for a little bit of a casual casual look. And if I wanted to dress it up a little bit, like maybe wear it out to a casual dinner place, I could also layer that white sweater with the floral texture pattern over the top of it. I also have this belt in my closet. It actually is pretty old. It belonged to my mom. It was the first round of woven belts being in style back in the 90s. And it has a really cute sterling silver buckle. So I kind of played around with what that might look with this dress to give me a bit more of a waist. I also saw this really cute pair of shorts from Maurice's and it has, you know, the button fly instead of the zip fly. I think that that's a really cute detail. They're distressed. And I knew that I had a few pairs of shorts that I put away from last year, but I also knew that I really thought about giving those away at that time. They were a few years old. I'd worn them for a few seasons. Some pairs I didn't wear at all last season. So I knew I was kind of in the market for some new shorts. And I just think, you know, these are super casual. They'll look really cute with different, you know, beach looks, beach tops, stuff like like that. 
And I just thought they were super cute and very versatile. I mean, who doesn't need a pair of denim shorts in their summer wardrobe? I also saw this shirt and at first I'm sure <laughs> I was thinking, gosh, I don't know if I like that very well, but I thought it's got this really pretty like floral embroidery. It's a linen shirt, which is very summery. And I thought, you know, I think I could maybe use that with my shorts, maybe even half tucked and it might look really cute. You know, I just knew that I needed to take it home and play with it. And for 99 cents, I thought, eh, if I don't like it, you know, I can always put it back in the giveaway pile, but I feel like it worked out really, really well. I just tried it on with a couple pairs of shorts and I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? If you are not a thrift store enthusiast and you are looking to save some money on especially clothes um, you should really maybe think about checking out the thrift stores in your area you might not know that a lot of thrift stores still have sales and sales schedules sometimes they will have a specific color of tag they tag everything a different color as it comes in like the, the price tag is a different color and sometimes different color tags will be super discounted as they're trying to turn over their inventory. Other places that I have been to have a certain day of the week when particular items are on sale, like the place I went to that has 99 cent clothing on Mondays. And there are a few thrift stores where I've had a discount card where I've paid like a certain amount of money at the beginning of the year, like $5 or $10. And then I get like a 10% discount on everything I purchased that year. And I have even heard of a few places that have military discounts, that have senior citizen discounts, so you might just check out, you know, the thrift scene in your area. Now I do occasionally buy new things and I try to find them on sale or on clearance if I can. January is a fabulous clearance month, the J months in general, January, June, July, because stores are usually getting rid of their inventory so that they can make room for new stuff after the holidays in January, and then in preparation for the fall and the holidays in June and July. Have any of you ever used Kohl's for an Amazon return? If you have not, it is really easy. All I have to do is go into my Amazon account if I wanna return something, and if it says that a Kohl's return is a possibility, I always choose that, because all I have to do is click that option and it will send me an email with a QR code and I just take my item unpacked. I don't have to box it up. I don't have to pack it up. I don't have to put it in an envelope. I don't have to print any shipping labels. I just take the item to Kohl's and I show them that QR code on my phone. They scan it and then they take care of the item and they ship it back to Amazon for me. It's super easy. But the other thing is that every time I go to Kohl's and do that, they give me a 25% off purchase coupon, not just one item for an entire purchase. And it is good on almost anything in the store, including clearance. So I went over to the clearance racks and I was able to snatch a really nice looking pair of Nine West shorts. They're what I call dressy shorts. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I guess there are some people who would say that shorts can't be dressy, but I feel like they can be. And then just this really cute green sleeveless top that I thought would be really easy to layer with things that I thought would go with a lot of things that I was already picking out to take with me. And of course, all of this stuff will be great for just my regular spring and summer wardrobe whenever that season rolls around. But I was able to get that pair of Nine West shorts because it was on clearance and I had a 25% discount on top of that for a little over $13. And I was able to get the top for less than 10 bucks. I think it was $9 after the clearance and the discount were applied. So those were two items that I could add to my vacation wardrobe and to my spring and summer wardrobe whenever that comes around this year. I also knew I was probably going to need at least one pair of pants for this trip. So I did pull out a pair of jeans from my closet, a skinny jean that I knew would look good with sandals or with closed toed shoes or even with tennis shoes if I decided to take a pair for the trip. And also that would look good with a lot of the items that I had already chosen to take with me. I'm still trying to decide if I want to add these shorts to my suitcase because they go along with quite a few of the things that I've already picked out. I also got these for 99 cents at the thrift store on the 99 cent day when I went shopping there. So I actually purchased these shorts and distressed them myself. I looked online for some tutorials about how to do that. So I just made the cuts myself and then I sent them through the washer and the fraying happened in the wash and the drying process. So I don't know if I did that right. You know, like I said, I'm not super stylish, um, but I'm still kind of deciding if I wanna throw these in as well. I was able to distress the pockets to the backside of the shorts. 
But tell me what you guys think whenever you see the pictures of these shorts with the other items that I have already picked out. Do you think I did this right? Do you think they look okay? I'm not sure. You know, I mean, the great thing about only paying 99 cents for them is that if I have to go ahead and put them in the trash, it's not like I've invested a lot of money. But I just thought I would give that a go and see what I could come up with using that process of distressing them myself. And we are going on a beach vacation, you guys. So I did go ahead and invest in one new swimsuit. I am a person who is not super comfortable in a bikini, but I like the convenience of a two-piece whenever you are going to be in your swimsuit a lot of the day beside the beach or the pool because it's easier to get up and go to the bathroom. Sorry if that's TMI, but when I'm going to have to take a swimsuit on and off a couple of times throughout the day, it's so much easier when it, whenever it's a two-piece. So I found this cute swimsuit on Amazon. I will leave it linked in the description box below. I'm not super comfortable with the way my body looks right now. I'm carrying around a few extra COVID pounds, not a lot, but I I've also, I'm, I'm getting older, you guys. I've been through two pregnancies. I've had a hysterectomy. I've had a breast reduction. I mean, my body, you know, it's not going to look like it did in the 20s. But I thought that this was a really cute suit for my body. I feel comfortable in it. I like the convenience of the two-piece. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave it linked in the description box below. Now, lest you think I buy everything secondhand or at a steep discount, I do take great care in purchasing shoes. I will spend really good money on a few pairs of nice shoes. I have reached the age where I really can't wear cheap shoes that much or for very long. And so I have invested in some good shoes. Like I have a pair of Teaks that I will probably be taking with me and that you will be seeing in the try on portion of this video. I also just purchased myself a brand new pair of tennis shoes. They're running shoes. And I even wear those when I walk or just on days when I'm gonna be on my feet all day. Shoes wear according to the way a person walks or runs. So I just don't think it's a good idea to buy you used shoes. And as I have gotten older, I have really thought of shoes as an investment because I don't want to have an, an achy body or sore feet or achy joints or anything like that. So really be careful about shoes. I would not buy those secondhand unless maybe it's somebody you know who's passing them down to you. All right, you guys, I hope that gives you an idea of another place where you can save money in your budget on clothing and on your wardrobe and also inspires you maybe to consider rethinking your wardrobe, reusing, repurposing some items that you already have, and maybe rescuing some items that are secondhand, that can have a new life in your wardrobe and in your closet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be sure to check in with another video very soon. Bye.